Hello, I'm suddenly sitting in front of the camera again today, even though in my last video, I just said that I was going to do less of the talking form. However, as you can tell by the title, I will be talking about seven movies that are perfect to watch in the fall time. Fall is my favorite season, and even being in a very cold part of Canada, I don't mind that the season is coming even if it's leading to winter time. And movies are a topic I've become very passionate about in the past one and a half years, I would say. I've been hosting weekly movie nights in my apartment with my friends and they've only been on pause for the past half year because of COVID, but I am still having movie nights with my family instead. When I think of fall, I think of burgundy and warm colors like oranges and golds. It's a very warm season, yet there's like that perfect juxtaposition of the bleakness and the grayness of the weather. And it's something I just really love. And I think there's a, quite a few movies I've watched recently that really fit into the theme of fall that I hope everyone has the chance to watch because we don't really have the chance to go out and do a ton of things right now, especially if you're staying safe, which I hope you all are. So jumping into the movies, the first movie I recommend is Kesepin. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. This movie I would describe as a Lady Bird-esque coming of age film, but without the typical white narrative, if you know what I mean. And what I found from this movie that I took away was there's such a bond between this culture and between the two girls that this movie follows. And I think it's such a hopeful yet bleak atmosphere, which is really perfect to watch in the fall. It helps as well to learn a lot about the indigenous cultures and what it really means to be living in a land that was stolen from you. I actually recommended this movie as well in my monthly recommendations that I post on my Instagram. I think it offers really interesting insight into why we still see very few interracial or intercultural relationships out in the world. There are really successful ones, but I think this movie does a good job in portraying where the struggles may lie as well. One of these girls in her time off the reserve encounters a white boy that she begins to fall in love with, and that's where the story really begins. The second movie I would recommend to watch in the fall is Love, Simon. Even if you've watched it already, I still think it's the perfect movie to get into the autumnal mood. I find that there is the perfect mix of angst and feel good in this movie. It offers another external narrative, obviously, outside of the typical straight person narrative that we've all seen so many times in both coming of age and romantic movies. And to top it all off, the outfits are just very autumnal since it's a school setting. Um, I think it's so funny, but I remember the entire time I was watching this, Simon was just dressed in clothes from my closet and he had my backpack too. So it's a really funny parallel to see between myself and the main character. Overall, I think it's just a very heartwarming movie with the right amount of lessons and touching moments. And it's the perfect movie to watch with a warm cup of tea. As a bonus to top it all off, it is also just the perfect autumn soundtrack as well. Troy Sivan songs, the Bleacher songs, I have all of them saved, I love them so much. The third movie that we have today is Flipped. This is one of the movies I recommend to everyone. It's one of my all-time favorites and it's really just the epitome of a heartwarming film. I really personally love any books or movies or stories that are told from the perspective of children because it's so like innocent yet reflective of how society works and this follows to a young boy and a young girl as they become neighbors with each other and how their emotions kind of flip back and forth in their feelings. It's based on the book Flipped. I think most people might have watched already because it's an older movie but I watch it on repeat whenever I need something lighthearted to watch. The reason why I recommend this for the fall time is again it's another school setting and a lot of the Themes deal with nature, trees, and overall, whenever I watch it, I just feel the same way I feel towards the season of fall. And with the fluctuation between school and like their lives outside of school, I think it's the perfect adorable way to end off the summer season as well. The fourth movie I recommend is the only horror movie I have on this list. I personally am not a huge fan of Halloween, but I do respect all the Halloween fanatics out there. So I've included one film, which is Pan's Labyrinth. 
this is the first time I've actually watched a cult classic horror movie and it was recommended to me by one of my friends that comes to our movie nights. This movie is so grotesque with their animatronics, is that how you even say it? Um, but their prosthetics and everything. But there's also the hint of education by dealing with the history of the fascist rulings in Spain, which is a piece of history that we don't deal with much in the North American region. So it's very interesting to peer into. After watching it, I fully understand why it's a cult classic. The movie follows a young girl whose mother marries into uh, one of the captains or commanding officers of the fascist army. I'm not super clear on all the roles in history still, but she kind of finds a fairy tale book and begins living out this fairy tale that ends up not being as magical as it seems. On the side, the horrors of the wars between the fascist government and the rebels are going on at the same time. After watching this movie, I realized fully why it's a cult classic, apart from the makeup that I've already talked about and the special effects. The way that this whole story was weaved into both real life and the fantasy elements is incredible. There was like four storylines going on at once and each of them was completely fully fleshed out into its own universe. Highly recommend this one for your Halloween needs. The fifth movie I have is Knives Out and I'm also aware this is not a very niche movie to recommend, but I do think that it's the perfect time to watch it in the fall. Knives Out, again, if you do not know about the movie, is um, a murder mystery of sorts that starts off with the murder of the owner of an estate or like family business. And um, they bring in a detective who is acted by Daniel Craig and he has the responsibility of trying to find out which family member killed the man. Controversial, but while the movie is honestly not one of my all-time favorites per se. I do think that it had hella autumnal color schemes, if I can put it that way. The entire set, the costume design, the color grading, everything was so moody yet majestic of sorts, if that makes sense. I think that the ambiance of the movie as well was so perfect. It's like the perfect mix between suspenseful, so you don't know who really is the murderer, but also calm in a sense because they act so exquisite and posh. So I highly recommend this movie to watch in the fall. The second last movie, we are almost there, that I recommend is 1917. Again, this is not an original movie to recommend, but I love this movie so much. I will probably recommend it regardless of the season. 1917 is a movie about two young men who are sent across the borders in France um, from the British side to send a message to stop a mission. I don't know the war terms, excuse me. This message is meant to save thousands of English lives from walking into a trap. And one of the boys that is sent across the border actually has a brother who is about to go out on that mission as well. And they only have one night to cross into the German-owned land at the time and get the message through. This movie, again, is perfect because of the bleakness and hopelessness that these boys are experiencing through the war. The overall color scheme is so gray and so muted, but again, they did win in cinematography from the one take effect. And I think that effect is also how I really experience autumn because where I live in Canada, the fall really only lasts for like two to three weeks before all the leaves fall and it just starts becoming super, super sad, just waiting for the first snow to come. I think the one take effect really just reflects both the urgency in the movie of delivering this message and not knowing what's gonna happen next, but also the limit to the autumn time that we can enjoy every year and how it's almost like one breath of a transition between the summer and winter time. I don't know why I just got so poetic, but I do have more. I think this movie is also so heartwarming while it's also full of the sorrows of war because of the strength of the love and the deep bonds that are formed between these soldiers. The final movie I want to recommend today is The Black Klansman. You'll see I'm not recommending any super niche movies this time. I think I want to start off easy with my first movies video, but The Black Klansman is really relevant and really urgent to our times. If you haven't watched it yet, I do strongly urge you to watch this movie. Given the times we live in, it's really important to understand 
what the whole meaning of the movement behind Black Lives Matter is and ACAB. Through the Black Klansman, a Black police officer teams up with his white coworker to infiltrate the KKK back in the 19 some hundreds. I should know, but I don't have it off the top of my head. And through this, there's a comedic yet very serious representation of what it meant to live as a Black man in those days. Again, I think this movie is very important to watch because it shows how the Black community has been fighting for their rights for so long and still continue to be murdered on the basis of the color of their skin. While there are numerous other movies I desperately want to recommend to show the stories from Black narratives, I recommend this one for the fall in a playful sense as well. The comedic elements of this movie are so spot on that it really pulls the viewer in to make you more open to the overall message that really gets drilled through at the end of the movie in a very impactful scene. At the same time, I also find that again, these color schemes and color gradings are extremely autumnal in the Black Klansmen with a ton of burgundies and like denim and just like fall clothing with a more nature-esque small town feel almost since it was in the olden days. Again, that really isn't the prime reason I'm recommending this movie, but I do think that it really wraps around the theme of this video very well and the overall list that I've compiled today. Please go watch The Black Klansman. It is definitely worth the time if you're still looking into more stories from Black voices. So those are the seven movies I recommend all of you go watch this fall. Again, this is actually a short list of the movies I originally listed out for this video, but for the sake of the length, I cut it down to these seven. So if you did like this video, please give it a like so I do know that I can continue making videos like this because it's something I'm really passionate about. It's literally such a common conversation topic for me to talk about with my friends and my coworkers even. If you wanted to get more recommendations on content, you can also check out the website I share with my sister and our brand, the biculturalidentity.com. It'll be linked down below. And we post a lot of reviews or opinion pieces on content that we consume on that website. So feel free to go check it out as well. If you do have any recommendations for me, I'm always looking for movie recommendations. Please also leave them in the comments below. These are all movies I've watched before, obviously, so I'm also looking for a list of movies to watch this fall for myself. All right, don't want to keep everyone who's lost it until now for too much longer, so thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in two weeks. Bye. Mm -hmm.